On the Upfront segment tonight, racial justice in Detroit and across the country. Joining us to discuss this important topic is Wendy Lewis Jackson, Managing Director of Kresge Foundation's Detroit program. Wendy, thank you for uh, joining us tonight. Thank you so much for having me, Dave, on this Thanksgiving Eve. It's yeah, a pleasure. I wish you and yours the, a happy Thanksgiving for sure during this difficult pandemic. Thank you. The same for you. Um, let's talk uh, about the $30 million in grants that the Kresge Foundation is making as part of its long-term commitment to equity and opportunity. Briefly, what's the goal for the grants? And then we'll drill down a little bit further. Sure. Um, so the Kresge Foundation was founded in 1924 uh, by Sebastian Kresge, the founder of the Kmart Corporation. And it was founded with a mission to promote human progress. Um, and so today we are a national philanthropy with a focus on expanding opportunity in American cities. And the announcement of our investments uh, for racial justice and racial equity uh, in Detroit and cities across the country is really grounded in our bedrock principles of expanding opportunity, equity, and justice in communities, but especially in our hometown. Now, as I understand it, $7 million will go to organizations that are doing grassroots work in cities, including right here in Detroit. What does that mean? So uh, and it's actually gone up. It's $8 million uh, for the city of Detroit, and that will be um, invested in 20 different organizations and projects across the city. So we're working with organizations that Detroiters know very well, um, such as uh, Black Family Development, uh, Detroit Future City, um, um, organizations like uh, the uh, ACLU and Mothering Justice. These are all organizations that are working um, particularly within neighborhoods in Detroit to um, uh, increase resident voice, build power around issues that will improve their communities. And we're very fortunate to be able to make these kinds of investments. These are investments that are going to ground. So again, working with organizations that are working directly in neighborhoods. Um, they are organizations that um, uh, need significant support. And so we're very excited about this set of investments because we'll be investing in these organizations over uh, uh, at least three years, if not more. And it's about uh, working to end endemic and systemic racism, right? And the protests we've seen certainly this year across the country, let us know there is much more work that still needs to be done. Yes, these are organizations that can shift conditions uh, fundamentally. And we are very interested in making sure they have the resources that are needed uh, in order to do two things really, um, because we are, you know, fighting a hundred year pandemic in the midst of tackling a 400 year uh, challenge around systemic racism and structural racism. And these are the organizations that have been working day in and day out to improve the quality of life for Detroiters on a whole host of issues, but particularly as it relates to racial justice. Kresge Foundation has long supported Detroit through the arts and culture, education, health and human services. Foundation also played a hugely positive role in Detroit's bankruptcy, all important, but it seems as though much of the focus now is on this commitment to equality and justice uh, in Detroit and other cities uh, in the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Detroit is our hometown um, and it's also our largest grant making program at the Kresge Foundation. So we're real fortunate to invest about 32 to $35 million a year just in the city of Detroit. And we're able to do that across a breadth of issues. So um, we are focused very much on environmental sustainability as well as neighborhood revitalization, early childhood education, arts and culture, as you brought up, Dave. Um, so our program and our set of investments across the city has a great deal of breadth. And we're also fortunate to do that in collaboration with a number of philanthropic partners in Detroit. So we work very closely with the Kellogg Foundation and the Ford Foundation and the, the Skillman Foundation. So all that adds up 
uh, to investments across the board that improve the quality of life in the city, um, focus on the continued recovery and transformation of the city. And that is pretty much what we're all about at the Kresge Foundation. And it's making an impact and will continue for years and years to come. Wendy, we thank you for the time tonight. Uh, continued uh, good luck to you in your work and uh, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much again for having me and have a wonderful Thanksgiving.